they are already none for seven and we really haven't had a ball yet this is still the first ball of the day and it's a free hit now it's bowled in now they're going to buy for that because you can't be out on the free hit so what's happened now is that we've actually got eight runs from the first ball Oh, well, I've never seen anything like that. I've seen a fair few of the games in England, and I really wouldn't want a mockery to be made of cricket. The thinking here is you can't be bowled out, so what you do is you go back further to a fast bowler to give yourself more time and also to change his length. I can safely say that, that that's certainly a first in, in, in my eyes. I'm absolutely taken aback by it, and I don't really want to say about it. So we have fast, two minutes, one ball. Chance here. Misses. James Hopes, I think, would have been on his way had that ball hit the stumps. I think Brad had might have missed an opportunity, to be totally honest. Going back, yeah, sure, you can't be bowled, and yes, you get a bye, but you got a free hit. Are you to try and hit the boundary? Of course you have. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. It seems to be uh, too smart by half. Well, by whole, for that matter. I mean, look, the, the, the important thing about why it's worked in England is that, funnily enough, orthodox cricket has done the trick most of the time. The best innings have been played with orthodox strokes. The best bowling has uh, allowed a bit of swing. I don't think you need to take it quite so lightly. Just sliding down. Haven't got a long way across on that occasion. 